Amen. Praise the Lord. New Rise of Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today is day 13 of all month us playing, praying about living the abundant life. And today we're going to be praying from Psalm 78 and verses 12 through 16 from the New King James Version of the Word of God. Here's what it says. Marvelous things he did in the sight of their fathers, in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zion. He divided the sea and caused them to pass through. He made the water stand up like a heap. In the daytime also he led them with the cloud, and all the night with a light of fire. He split the rocks in the wilderness and gave them drink in abundance like the depths. He also brought streams out of the rock and caused waters to run down like rivers. Amen, amen. When we live this life of abundance and pray about it today, we want to pray four things from Psalm 78, verse 12 through 16. Number one, we want to pray today and thank God for the things he has done in generations past, what he's done for our mothers and fathers, grandfathers and grandmothers and generations before us. God has been generous and gracious and let them live a life of abundance as well. And he's no shorter than his word today. And we want to pray and thank God that he made and makes ways out of no way. We want to pray and thank God that he provides leadership and direction on our journey. And then lastly, we want to pray and thank God that he blesses us with abundance in our dry places. Amen. Come on, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we love you and we honor you and bless and praise your holy name. God, we thank you for being a good God and a gracious God. We thank you that your mercy and your grace extend to all generations. Thank you, Lord God, that you have been a blessing to our mothers and fathers. You've been a blessing to our grandparents and our great-grandparents, that you've been a blessing to our forefathers down through the generations of time. Lord, that you have not just shown yourself strong in this season, but you've shown yourself strong in each and every generation. Lord God, we thank you for this time of prayer and supplication, and we thank you for this time of, of praying to you about living a life of abundance. We thank you for the legacy of your grace of so many that have come before us. And we thank you for what you've done in the past. We thank you that we have witnesses and testimonies, God, that if you've done it before, you can and you will do it again. And God, when we look back over our lives and we look back over the generations, God, we see that you are a God that will make ways out of no way. Thank you for when you allowed our forefathers to come up against a rock in a hard place, to be between the enemy's army and the Red Sea, and you caused an east wind to blow all night and allowed our forefathers to walk across the body of water or walk, walk across the seabed on dry land. And not only that, but there have been other times in our ancestors' lives and even in our own past, God, when we too have been between a rock and a hard place and you've provided a way out, you've opened a door, provided an opportunity, provided a way of escape. God, you've been delivering us and making ways out of no way. And so we ask you to continue to be that way today. Lord God, we pray and thank you that you've provided leadership to our forefathers and parents on, our, on their journey, Lord. You've been a guiding light uh, in the night, and you've been a cloud of fire in the night and a pillar of cloud by day, Lord. You, you've given direction in the darkness, Lord. You've given direction when we didn't know which way to go. You've given direction in our times of confusion, and we thank you for being a God of vision and being a God of insight and being a God of light that we might walk by faith and not by sight. We thank you that your word is a lamp unto our feet and it is a light unto our pathway. We thank you, Lord God, that the, at the entrance of your word, it brings light, O oh God. Thank you when we were confused and didn't know which way to go. We heard a word from you. We heard your voice, your still small voice, calling us and leading us and guiding us. Thank you for mentors and coaches and teachers and administrators and leaders and, and pastors and parents and grandparents and loved ones and friends and family who've come alongside of us and grabbed our hands and showed us the way down throughout the years. Lord, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for your direction. Thank you for pointing us in the direction of our destinies. And now, Lord God, as we pray today, we pray that you would bless us with abundance even in our dry places. God, as our foreparents came up against the wilderness situations and they came into places where there didn't seem to be any supply 
of water to quench their thirst, God, you supplied every one of their needs according to your riches and glory, your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. We pray, Lord God, even in our dry seasons, even in our dry places, God, you'll bring water out of dry places, that you'll bring a, re a refreshing and a satisfaction out of things that we wouldn't think we could get satisfaction from. Lord God, even as you blessed our poor parents by turning water and bringing it out of a rock, Lord, bring water out of hard situations that we're in now. Satisfy us with the good things of life. Let us drink from the water that comes from your word that we would never thirst again, O oh God. We thank you and bless and praise you that you are a well full of eternal water that bubbles up in our soul, that reflect, refreshes our soul so that we too might be able to refresh those that come to us in needs and times when things are dry in their life. God, we thank you for this life of abundance. We thank you that it extends to all generations. We thank you for the generational testimonies that we have, that we've heard, we've seen and experienced. And we know, Lord God, that you're no different today than you were yesterday. For you're the same yesterday, today, and you'll be the same forevermore. So we just thank you and bless and praise you for what you are doing and what you've already done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Dearly beloved, I love you in the Lord. I pray you're being encouraged by this season and time of prayer. And today was day number 13, and we um, prayed from Psalm 78 and verse 12 through 16. We'll be back tomorrow. Listen, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Share the channel with someone. Let them know we're praying all month long about living the abundant life. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.